The UK is in talks with the Taliban. A representative of Boris Johnson's government has travelled to Doha to meet with members of this barbaric terror group. Now, while it is understandable to want to get British citizens out of Afghanistan safely, it used to be the case that governments didn't negotiate with terrorists. Whatever your view on this particular scenario, if we take it in a wider context, there is a definite sanitization of the Taliban taking place. Let's look at some examples. Watch this clip of the Chief of Defence Staff of the British Army, General Sunik Carter. This is now underway. And how do you feel about collaborating with the enemy when um, they have carried out such atrocities against um, UK military personnel over the years? I think you have to be very careful using the word enemy. Um, I think people need to understand who the Taliban actually are. And, of course, what they are, a disparate collection of tribespeople. As President Karzai put it to me only yesterday, they're country boys. Uh, and the plain fact is that they happen to live by a code of honour and a standard, which has been their standard for many, many years. It's called Pashtun Wali. It has honour at the heart of what they do. They are bound together by a common purpose, which is they don't like corrupt governance. They don't like governance that is self-serving. And they want an Afghanistan that is inclusive for all. So think... People need to understand who the Taliban actually are, he said. But yes. Yes, people do need to understand who the Taliban actually are. And it isn't the Boy Scout Club that Nick Carter describes. The Taliban are scriptural Muslims who have governed Afghanistan with full Sharia law and will govern it again in the same way. The Taliban are absolutely barbaric. When they governed a couple of decades ago, it was a bloodbath. They've been back in power for a matter of weeks and that bloodbath is flowing again. Reports from inside Afghanistan re reveal that these butchers have been going house to house looking for people to execute. These Boy Scouts, who live by a code of honour, according to our military, have also drawn up lists of girls over the age of 12 to be removed from their homes and provided as sex slaves to Taliban fighters, in accordance with Islamic scripture by the way. How very honourable. They'll rule Afghanistan like the brutal psychopaths that they are. They'll terrorise, murder and enslave, just as they did before. We, by the looks of things, will lie about this and legitimise their barbarism, just like we do with Saudi Arabia. Western governments rarely cover themselves in glory these days, but this sanitisation of the Taliban is a new low. It is a complete betrayal of truth and basic decency. It is a betrayal of everything we pretend to value. Freedom, rights, civilised behaviour. It is an elevation of the most evil of evils, and we ought to be thoroughly ashamed. The Taliban should be completely isolated, cut off from the rest of the civilised world. For the record, so should Saudi Arabia and Iran and all the other monsters of Islam. But Islam is key here, and that's what we're really sanitising. We've been doing it for decades with our nothing-to-do-with-Islam rhetoric whenever an atrocity is carried out. If our governments really believe in the values they pretend to believe in, then they should stand by those values. This moral relativism is disgusting, but only to be expected. We want our morals back. We want the truth to be told. We want this legitimization of the Taliban, Saudi, Iran and others to stop. What the Taliban does is Islamic, and we need to tell the truth about Islam. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.